five seconds. I am extremely happy to be here in the Hamdard University complex on the occasion of the convocation and deliver the address. At the outset, I congratulate all my friends who have been awarded degrees by this university. I express my desire for your success in your profession and for a full life which would be from all points of view full with the sentiment of achievement. There is not the least doubt that in the years to come all of you will have to face new challenges and confront them because we are passing through a phase where big changes are manifesting themselves. Hamdard University is a unique university of its kind which is engaged in imparting education suited to the needs of the circumstances. In this university, there is a combination of ancient and modern learning. In your training institution, there is a beautiful coming together of tradition and change. The challenge of change has to be faced by us not only in the universities but also in the entire society. I want my young friends and colleagues to keep before them the picture of the changing situation. This century is called the century of change. In this century, many developments, human efforts and ingenuity have scored great successes. During this time, big changes have occurred in science, technology and other departments. Under their active influence, a world has come into being which is much more interconnected and interdependent than before as the years of this century have passed the peoples and nations of the world have been bound together in different types of relations. In the old days, it was possible for nations to remain aloof from one another, but not now. Many countries are trying to come into groupings based on geographical limits, traditional relations or cultural commonness. The Industrial Revolution which began in the 18th century reached its climax in the 20th in the 18th and 19th centuries, there were signs of progress like the opening of coal mines, steel mills and textile mills and in the early parts of the 20th century, there were signs like motor cars, telephones, radio sets and other consumer goods. The Second World War gave birth to a new technology which helped in the establishment of consumer goods industries and new ways of creating goods. The services sector was so much utilized that the gross national product got a big boost. In the second part of the 20th century, several technologies and methods have come to the fore which totally different from the methods used in the first half. Western scholars and observers are now agreed that the revolutionary changes that have taken place in the last three decades of the 20th century are an entirely important development in human history. Some observer has remarked that there have been more changes in the first half of the 20th century than in the past 10,000 years, but more changes have been brought in the past 20-25 years than in the first half of this century. This is not a question of measuring and 
weighing differences but the major fact is that change is coming very fast and it would be better if we deal with it equally fast and we aligned ourselves with it we cannot afford to lag behind and we have to link ourselves with the process of change after fully grasping it this is a big challenge before us today the developed countries have begun using new capabilities rather than depend on industries which use energy and effort although in some of the wealthy nations the old technologies and factories running on fuel are not totally closed particularly those of military and economic value even so these industries are being run with the help of fewer workers and with better use of energy more progressive technologies than those used before are now being employed some people believe that this should not be interpreted as a big step in the direction of industrial progress they are of the view that a new phase is taking place this is known as a phase of information electronics age space age age of technology and so on from the modern stores hyderabad to the manager canara banking corporation limited bank street hyderabad dear sir we are pleased to report to you the steady progress of our business since its establishment in october 1995 the 200% increase in our turnover in the 10 months ending august over that of the first year offers ample testimony of our success in our business we have been able to achieve this mainly because of the wide range of consumer goods readily available in our store in large numbers during the ensuing diwali and christmas season we expect a further rise in our turnover and as such we wish to add to our stock other lines of goods also on account of tight money market our usual suppliers have expressed their inability to grant as credit for a period of more than 1 month under the circumstances we are obliged to approach you with a request for a small overdraft according to our estimation an overdraft of rupees 50000 would be sufficient to finance our increasing seasonal stocks we require this amount for a period of 3 months by the end of which we shall be able to place the account in credit at present we can give you only our personal guarantee as security for the overdraft however we wish to draw your attention to the operation of our current account with your bank in respect of a fair balance maintained regularly bills and other obligations met promptly and drafts bought regularly audited copies of the trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet as on the date of application are enclosed for your perusal an early reply will greatly facilitate sending order to our suppliers and having our stocks in time yours sincerely